Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are all having an amazing start to your week. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a rainbow barely shining here. Oh, it's so sad. That's all that's left. It's done for this morning. But this box is $54 plus your local sales tax. And this includes the price of shipping. I will leave a link in the description area. Let's go ahead and dive in because I am really excited to see what they have done this month. Ooh, I think I remember this card this deck that they use. Um, all right, let's look at our Oracle card. What does the universe have to tell us? My favorite place. I know there are places upon this earth that resonate deeply within me. I open myself to the healing power of these places. They are unique, just as I am unique. Oh, this hit, this hit hard with me. Yeah, this, everything in this card is exactly one of my favorite places is of course, out in nature um, but specifically this reminds me of an area that I like to go to a lot near me so I need to get out there I think this is a sign for me that I need to get out in nature even though it's snowing just got to get it done <laughs> all right let's see what the theme is for this month Ooh, yes so satisfactory bound by soil if you listen closely you may just hear the whispering and wandering of spirits that inhabit nature around you in this exclusive collection, we pause and ponder, providing ourselves with the time necessary to connect with all of the natural elements that surround our practices. It is during this time that we are free to ask questions to guides, create relationships with elementals, or call upon the hidden wisdom that resonates within all living things. Through this beautiful season of growth and creation, we delve into the deepest and most authentic roots of our craft, bound by soil and enhanced by magical intent. Ooh, okay. So that kind of gets me excited. Let's see what else we have here in the way of artwork. We have the sacred soil spell. Hmm. Oh my God, yes. I love gnomes, I'm a gnome addict. So we have the gnome, yay. I love this so much. Ah, oh, yes. Gaia, what a gorgeous picture. Wow, I am absolutely in love. Wow, 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 wow. I'm currently reading a book about all the gods and goddesses, and of course it started off with Gaia, and so this is perfect. I absolutely adore this so much. Wow. And this is what we have. Avert your eyes if you don't want sneak peeks. So let's see what we have here. Ooh. First things first, we have our incense. It says forest floors. It smells heavenly. And it doesn't say much about the incense, so I'll just show that at the end. But we have some tea and it looks gorgeous. We have a muslin bag, which I like that you can reuse these because I hate the ones that are paper because you just throw them away. Even though I don't use these, it's nice to have ones that are reusable. And then we have Earthly Bounty. Hello, gorgeous. And look at this Earthly Bounty. What a beautiful blend. Okay. Earthly Bounty Ritual Herbal Tea with Muslim Bag. It's caffeine free. A celebration of health and vitality, this Earthly Bounty Tea was created with the intention of uplifting the spirit and grounding chaotic and confused emotions. This ritual herbal tea has been created with chamomile, rose petals, orange peel, oat straw, lemon balm, and lavender. Oh, yes. I think other than the chamomile, everything else is right up my alley. It says, as you sip this refreshing blend before or after ritual, allow its energies to conjure emotions of hope and optimism. I need this today. We're gonna let it steep and do its thing and then we'll come back to it. The next thing I see here, it looks like our herbs. We have white oak bark and juniper berry. As stated within the Hedge Witches Field Guide, the astringent blue-black seeds known as juniper berries are a common culinary and medicinal herb. Many traditional farmhouse ales and gins are seasoned with juniper berries and twigs. In addition to being a great seasoning, juniper resonates with the energies of invigoration. 
To invigorate is to revitalize, animate, and bring fresh life to something. Mm. And then we got white oak bark. You can see it there. Oak has long been a sacred source of magic throughout history, dating back to the Druids who traditionally would not meet for rituals unless there was an oak nearby or present. In addition, the oak brings to life the image of witches dancing beneath its wavering limbs, calling upon spirits during ritual. Carry a sachet of white oak bark with you during your day to draw good luck towards you. The sacred oak is a wonderful symbol of protection and strength and should be included within any practitioner's pantry of magical herbs. Mmm, lovely. And then we have a bundle of some kind. It smells interesting. I mean, it kind of looks like the kind of sage I have here, but not really very sagey. Let's see what the paper says. This is a dried lavender bundle. It says this wonderfully fragrant dried lavender bundle was created so its cleansing smoke can waft throughout your sacred space. It is important that you burn this candle with caution without leaving unattended. Simply light one end of the bundle, allowing the flame to burn for a few seconds, then blow out and allow the smoke to rise. We have included this specific bundle within this collection to bring positive, protective, and harmonious energies into your environment. Allow these soothing qualities to assist you in fostering energy before ritual meditation. Interesting, I've never seen lavender look like this. The next thing I see here, it looks like our candle. And we got a nice chocolate soil brown color, nice and long. The Sacred Soil Spell Candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of honoring Gaia or the Great Mother Earth. As she provides us with an overwhelming number of blessings, we in turn pay our respects and recognize these attributes through our practices. As we stand before the dancing flame, we focus our intentions on the knowledge gained by the all natural elements and ask that we are aware enough to continually recognize them throughout our daily journeys. This is a time where you can speak freely, asking for assistance during upcoming rituals or simply to pay homage. Nice. Up next, we have Ostara, sacred salt. Look how beautiful that is. I love the, the color of it. Ooh, we got some lavender and some rose. Oh, it smells like lemongrass or maybe ginger, which you guys know is not my fave, but I'll still use it regardless. Let's see what it says about that. Ostara Celebratory Sacred Salt. At a time of celebration, Ostara represents the essence of spring bringing rebirth and hope to coming months. This time represents the coming of warmer weather and the promise of new opportunity on the horizon. The sacred salt was created with the intention of bringing fresh energies into your energetic body. We have enchanted the sacred salt with sweet orange, lemongrass, and vetiver oils, as well as rose, lemon balm, and lavender herbs. And they also use a special mixture of their Ostara magical oil. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I think we have a geode. Look at this. It's already been cracked open, but they've held it together with rubber band. You can hear it jingling. Oh. Okay, you guys ready? How beautiful. Let me just take the little pieces out. Look at that. Hopefully you guys can see the beautiful sparkle. So cute. Geode, derived from the Greek word geodes meaning earth-like, the geode carries with it the wonders of earthly obsession. The geode is one of the most recognizable stones and can commonly be found positioned around the home of any magical practitioner. It is expected to find crystals such as quartz, amethyst, and citrine hidden within the cavity of these wonderful stones. In addition to geode's ability to heal and bring balance to the body, it provides almost instant stress relief, allowing you to relax and readjust. How gorge. I love that, so fun. And then we have our oil. Wow, this has been a jam-packed box. I love it. We have Earth Mother. Ooh. You can kind of see the plant in there. Oh, I see some jasmine right at the top. Yes, oil. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Oh, how to describe that scent. 
it's very sweet, but also like a citrus floral. It's very bright and like juicy, like fruits. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see what the paper says. Earth Mother Magical Anointing Oil. Earth Mother Magical Anointing Oil. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of grounding you during these times of chaos, challenge, or confusion. As you work with the special blend, visualize your energies drawing into the earth below you. Grounded and unwavering, feel a sense of calmness and safety as you are blanketed by the warm embrace of earthly energies. Allow this oil to keep you grounded and calm as you work through anxiety and nervousness. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific intentions for doing so. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. We have enchanted this magical oil with green tea, jasmine, cedar, vetiver oils, and have included oak bark and jasmine buds as well. So beautiful. I think it must be the green tea. Green tea always has that really bright deliciousness and fragrance. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> We have two more things. What? Oh my God. Okay. Wow. This is probably my favorite box that they've released in a while. I am very happy with this. But first, let's try our tea, shall we? This is the color that we have here. Beauty and grace. I'm triggered. I know I mentioned this a bajillion times, but it reminds me of that horrid chamomile water that I would get poured on as a child. It just tastes like pure chamomile. That's all I can taste right now. However, it's not bad. It just, you know, triggered. Okay. There's two things here, and I don't know if they go together or not, so I'm just going to show you the first thing. Ba -bum! Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Okay, and so these items go together. And the second item that I have here, we got a hard cover of the Head Witch's Field Guide by Ciolo Thompson. Ciolo? I'm not sure. I'm not certain how you say that. Oh my god. It's a hardcover deliciousness. Oh, and I love that they're in color. Yes can't tell you how disappointed I get when they do them in black and white. I'm like, no, this is beautiful. May nature's wisdom forever be heard whispering and guiding you on your path. Blessed be the witch's moon. Oh, cute. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I can't wait to read this, but as always, I will go ahead and show you guys all the cards quickly and then pull one for all of us watching the video and then show you what it says in the book. We are truly honored to have the opportunity to create an exclusive and first hardcover copy of this field guide. As you open the book to the first page, you will see a special intention from the Witch's Moon. The beautiful Head Witch's Field Guide was created by Cialo Thompson, a self-taught visual artist who lives and works in Seattle, Washington. She uses multiple mediums and techniques in her work with a focus of draftsmanship and narrative development. Cialo is also the creator of the best-selling Line Strider Tarot, as stated within the beginning of this book, providing insight on how to use these cards. It is stated, the botanical cards can be used as an oracle deck or as flashcards with, with this book as the study guide. When used as an oracle tool in your meditation and divination or practice, the cards can stand alone or work in conjunction with the other cartomancy tools. The book endeavors to help the curious learn about these essential plants and their historical application. This text discusses where to find the plants and what part of the plant is commonly used and whether they are primarily edible or medicinal. We were so drawn to these oracle cards for their variety of uses as well as the abundant amount of information found within the field guide. As with any new tarot or oracle deck that you begin to work with, we recommend taking your time to get to know this deck. Flip through each card, making your own first judgments and interpretations of the energies that they may carry with them. We always work towards intuitively determining what message each card may be hiding. Once you have focused your intentions on the pressing realities in your world or simply asking a specific question, pick your card as you see fit. As this is a very intuitive practice, be sure that you are truly focused on the process as not to be distracted by other outside energy. As you find the information within the field guide correlating to your card, read the description in full. You will easily be able to determine which message was meant for you. We always recommend keeping a record of important readings and any wisdom that you may have gained so that you are able to use these teachings and insights as future reference. 
This hardcover book and set of oracle cards shine a light on the true essence of connecting with nature in ways that allow us to communicate with them, understand their energies, and retrieve valuable wisdom from their spirit. May you step into a new sense of awareness and understanding as you continue to incorporate the power of nature into your practice. Sweet. Okay. Before I get into that part, here is page one in its entirety and page two. Okay. Please give us a message for everyone watching this video. What do we need to know? All right. Caution, Wormwood, Artemisia, Absinthium. And the book is alphabetical, which is amazing. Oh my God, this book is so cute. So here's how it looks. Do you want to pause to read the first page? And then the last page. Cool, I'm excited to read this. All right, now let me show you guys the cards quickly here. So the video is not super long. Nurture. Stabilize. Abundance. Resourcefulness. Dream. Brighten. Magic. Strength. Mystery. Preserve. Ritual. Tribulation. Adversity. Soothe, build, growth, enjoy, clarity, adaptation, courage, protection, Purify, subdue, enhance, repel, sacred, regenerate, invigorate, nourish, Ephemeral, humility, adventure, sustain, defend, attract, patience, connection, service. And last we have Tenacity. What a beautiful deck. Oh, I'm so excited to have this. Wowza, wowza. All right, so that was the February Witch's Moon box. I absolutely love this box. This has just been exactly what I needed. If I had to pick my favorite, it was definitely it's definitely gonna be the artwork. I love it, but I think everything works together very well. It's a very thoughtful box. I love the book and the deck. But I also love the geode and the oil. Ooh, okay, so I'd say first up is gonna be the art, for sure. Absolutely love it. I mean, I can't get enough of it. And then it would be the book oracle followed up by the geode and the oil. <laughs> Let me know down below what you guys thought about this box and what your favorite item was. Oh, 
What a great job they did this month. Absolutely love it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.